Recently at uni, I've had a bit more free time and I've noticed that rather than filling it with things I enjoy or something productive, I've been spending a lot of time scrolling on my phone, mostly on TikTok. I have a lot of things I want to achieve in my days and although I think a little bit of TikTok is good for inspiration and motivation, at the moment I'm finding that I'm spending from one to three hours on it a day, which definitely isn't beneficial. Yesterday, after having such a good few days, I kind of fell into a bit of a slump again and, not surprisingly, my screen time was very high. I can't really think of a day when I haven't been on social media multiple times throughout it, so I thought it'd be a good idea to intentionally have a day off. I'm definitely addicted to my phone, as I think most of us are, and I find that the more I go on it at the beginning of the day, the more drawn I am to it as a distraction throughout the rest of the day. So I decided that today I wouldn't use social media and have a mini detox and take you along with me. I'm very aware of how stupid and easy this sounds, but I go on my phone in all the small intervals in the day, so it does seem weird to take that away. other times that I would usually go on my phone like waiting for my food in the microwave what do I have here have that. I'm such a person to like get in and be like oh that was like a chunk of activity done like now let's go on my phone for like a break even though like eating is a break in itself but yeah so I'm glad I didn't but it is weird like I don't know I like feel like I want I feel like I'm missing out like the idea of not going on my phone I don't know, like I want to like see people's stories and stuff, so it's a bit weird, which is so dumb because it's really not that deep, I'm not going to miss anything in a day, but yeah, I can't lie, it's weird. Just had potentially the most useless doctor's call ever, I, like she acted as, like I had an appointment with her to talk about stuff that she wanted to talk about, obviously it's to do with me, but she acted as if like I just called her up on the blue and didn't know what was going on, I was a bit like, so I'm just <laughs> re-putting my slippers. Um, so yeah, that was literally useless because, I don't know, it was like five minutes, she just hung up. <laughs> She's like, okay, good. I was like, okay. So that was interesting. Um, I've realized that even if I don't go on social media, I'm still very prone to just picking up my phone and trying to do stuff on it, which is really weird. 
like I was just scrolling through my photos or like I don't know just doing stuff on my phone that really wasn't anything just so that I was using my phone so maybe that will go away because that was actually quite strange it just started because I wanted to put something on in the background whilst I do more of my uni work and I just couldn't find anything to watch on Netflix and then the doctor's call came and then I was like lying in my bed but taking the call but yeah if I can't find anything in the next like five minutes I'm just gonna get on with my uni work and stop just being stupid and procrastinating because I don't have something to watch I finished my dinner and I finished kind of watching what I was watching and I had that like moment of like do I really want to like go anywhere do I really want to do the dishes I haven't done the dishes because like I don't want the, there to not be any time at the gym the dish can be done at like 11 o'clock the gym's not open at 11 o'clock so I am going to the gym not to actually work out anything just to go and like sit in the pool a bit but yeah, I don't think I would have had the time to go had I sat on my phone for like 20 minutes. It's positive in the fact that it's made me go and also the fact that I'm kind of like, okay, well, if you don't go and you get in the shower now, then you've got like another like two hours till bed. And what are you going to do? I guess better if I just go and kind of pass the time, which is so weird as a thing to say, but like, I've done my uni work for the day. I could like edit some of this, but if I don't do that, then I'm kind of like, watch TV like I've struggled to find stuff to watch on the TV so it is it's weird I'm currently cooking some aubergines at the right time of 10 o'clock at night I have done all the other washing up though that's just from the aubergines from soaking them so I think that's pretty good um because that was a lot of it because I cooked like two pounds of mince this evening had the pan from the pancakes this morning I got lunch I like had pre-prepped so that was only a bowl but like fruit bowls I I just I just use a lot of stuff when I make food so yeah I'm glad that's all like dealt with and I've tidied up the rest of the flat and I think I am just gonna go on my phone for a little bit I don't know I just I um, just don't know what else to do like it might be that 
I can like get out of this habit in the evening but to be fair in the evening it doesn't bother me too much because it's kind of like if that's what I choose to do to relax then that's okay and I don't really feel like doing anything else like I give myself like the space to like not just go straight on my phone and think and I kind of am in the mood to just sit on my phone for a bit which I think is okay because it hasn't ruined my productivity in the day and it also just feels a bit lonely without it especially because there's nothing else I want to watch on the TV so I'm going to do that so it kind of isn't a full like day but I think I've done pretty well my screen time for today watch it be really high just because I just wander around on my phone today 1st of March oh it's March day I've spent an hour and 32 so far which is just like miles below like yesterday 6041 minutes and so far out of that hour and 42 I've spent 10 minutes in notes 38 minutes on snapchat which is just texting my boyfriend and pretty much like a few minutes on other things Eight minutes on Instagram, but that's like texting people back, not actually scrolling on Instagram. Well, I did open one story because I thought someone might put their baby and I need to check. Okay? That was important. Let's take my hair out because I'm ready for bed. And I think I'm going to end this here just because it has kind of been a full day of me doing this like detox social media thing. Um, I just felt like today was a lot more productive, but I also did feel like strangely like quite alone. Um, I think just because you don't feel like all the small like voids it was a lot easier to like get on with stuff though like I felt like I would have easily come back from the gym and like not put away all my stuff or like just like small things that I just wouldn't have done got done today which was good so I think I'm gonna try my best to like carry on because I didn't really mess anything out like if I go in the evening because I feel like cutting it out completely I'm a bit like oh and I don't like that's not going to be sustainable because I know I'm just not going to do that forever but cutting it out as much as possible during the day really has helped I think the more I get into the habit of it the less of it will be because I can't lie like when I would get home from stuff like uni or like waiting for my food to cook or just like weird pauses in the day like there was such a want to just like go go on it to like take time just off which instead of just getting on with the next thing so yeah, that was a difficult bit, but hopefully that will get easier as I like get used to like less used to just going on my phone as like the first thing I do. Um, and definitely this morning was really good not going on my phone. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching and maybe inspired you to try it yourself. Let me know if you do and how it goes. Definitely, I don't think it'll be as difficult as it was. But anyway, thank you for watching. Love you lots. Bye.